Right, uh, here's the new Tangra Relic Hunter 1. Uh, Tangra the Electronics is from uh, GM, um, but more refined in, in lots of different ways. Uh, the metal detector runs on manual ground bounds, which is very, very easy to do. Uh, this is the first video I've done. You've got audio, uh, if you look on, on the, the picture, you've got audio and you've got multi-tone audio basically it's similar to the, to the older machines uh, where it's knocking out the small piece of iron it, and it's giving you a clear cut um, reading on whatever's out there it knocks out small pieces of iron very very good very very uh, powerful great sound off it multi-tone is basically it's like all metal apart from a couple of things it knocks out the small pieces of nails identifies um, um, by low tones like pieces of iron, metal and so on and you get a quite a large bang when you're hitting um, a good target like silver, gold or whatever. Um, anything uh, above 2 my recommended setting on this would be 2 all the time um, and even if you're going to pull in you know a few bits of iron um, which is quite rare, but you will pull them in now and then. That's the way, that's the place to stop with that machine. Uh, your sensitivity, um, take that as high as you can, but not too high, as you know. You can over overdo it. You can if you get it if you if you can get it up high enough, you can you can uh, just get a nice breaking sound on it. Like I said, the ground balance is manual. So until you, what you do is lift it up and down, to, you can add or take away until you've like basically lost the sound coming from the coil, right? Um, and then your volume control on your right hand side. Don't look at this machine and thinking, oh, it's you know like there's not a lot in it. There is a lot in it, mind. Uh, it's been simplified. A lot of machines out there are too complicated these days. There's a lot of power going to the coil. Um, also, when you get get this metal detector, you get uh, the wireless headphones, which is a good little thing. You get your charger um, that you. It actually goes green when you've charged fully up. You get a, a thing that will plug into the side of your computer to charge your headphones up. And this machine overall is uh, the whole machine I'm going to show you in a minute. If you can see that. It's all carbon fibre. This is an 8 inch search coil, standard coil on it. Well finished off. 100% um, waterproof. Um, the nice thing about it as well you get all the extras, the water, the waterproofing, which is a needed thing these days when you're buying a new metal detector. You get a, a nice pad uh, in there. Then you can see that you probably can. Um, but overall, um, for the machine. This is just a basic video to give you a rundown. And, and what it's got, uh, the carbon fibre factor makes it light um, re once one charge will do about 30 hours so three days metal detecting or if you're doing obviously if you're only doing five hours that's like six days metal detecting but work out roughly how many hours you've done and let the battery reach the uh, decharge because the main reason being is you don't want to keep overcharging and break the cells inside the, the battery, uh, the rechargeable battery, which you can do. Uh, it'll last a long time. Uh, rechargeable uh, will last you for, for years if you look after it. it. It is a really simple system, but a very, very nice system. Something a lot of people forget that, you know, like they want all the, the glamour, this, that, and the other. This machine is quite glamorous. Uh, uh, if you're looking in on the weight side, which is very important, um, a lot of girls or women metal detector kids they're like something's quite light so again uh, that's another reason for this machine um, but also this detector its performance which you'll see in the next video 
you'll find out that uh, it, it, it's got a lot of power and it's got a lot of good things working for it. Probably, in my eyes, uh, on tests, but I'm going to let you see the physical tests um, be one of the best metal detectors you can get for the money. So anyway, that's me for now. Just talking about a few things on the Tangra Relic Hunter 1. And uh, personally, I think you'll find this is a very, very good machine. So just look out for the next video. Um, I've done 42 years metal detecting. I find that the GM metal detectors, um, I've got the GM4, the 15 kilohertz, um, the 18 kilohertz, which is the GM4, and this, and I'm just putting it up there. But when you see it um, out in the field, you'll know what I mean. All right, cheers. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.